Hey, I'm Alex from alexromsound.com and today we're going to take it back to the basics again and create a simple beat in Logic Pro X. We're going to add some percussion, some piano notes, and a nice bass line under our piano notes. And this is a beginner's tutorial here at alexromsound.com, so let's get to it. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is get a nice new project open. All right, and so what's gonna happen when we click File, New Project is we're gonna get this pop-up and it's gonna ask us what kind of track we wanna load up. And for the purpose of this tutorial, we're gonna use a software instrument track. Make sure my output is one and two and my device is wherever I want the output to come. So for me, I'm using simple headphones plugged in to my earphone jack. And so what I'm going to do is just make sure this says built-in output because that is where my earphone jack is sending audio. Okay, and so this says instrument one. We're going to name it piano, even though I think it should change. But what I'm going to do is come up to here to my instrument library, click piano, and I'm going to pick the Steinway Grand Piano. And all I'm going to do is click on it once. Splice keeps annoying me. I'm going to go here and close that just so it's out of our way. And so now we're ready to write down our piano notes. So here we have our primary tool and our secondary tool. And what I like to do is keep my primary tool as the primary pointer. I like to go here and use my pencil tool and this will allow us to write some notes. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hold command and write a region Hold command, click, and write this region, and this region is where we're going to write our piano notes. Now I'm going to double click this region, and it'll open this piano roll here. Another way you could do this is click on the scissors to open our piano roll. And right here is where we're going to write our melody for our nice beat, our nice simple beat in Logic Pro X. So the way I'm going to write notes are I'm going to hold command and click mm. in notes. But I'm not just going to click in any note. I'm going to click in only notes that sound good to me. I'm going to forget any kind of theory here, any kind of, you know, instruction on what to do and what not to do. And I'm just going to click in notes that simply sound good to my ears. Okay, so the melody that I came up with looks and sounds like this. Okay, but one thing about this melody is I think it sounds a little slow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the BPM. The way I'm going to do that is I'm going to go up to where it says 120 right here and then BPM. And I think a good BPM would be 165. And this should be the same as around 80. 82 BPMs. Uh, one thing to mention is if you you don't have the option for BPM, you probably have the wrong display here. You may have one of these settings down here. It could be time, beats, beats and time, but make sure beats and project is checked and then it'll display all of these components here. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I need to kind of add some salt and pepper to this piano. I gotta make it sound nice. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn off these buses here because I don't like preset sounds. I like to make everything myself. And I'm gonna add some reverb by clicking this little area here and going down to Space Designer. And the first thing I'm gonna do in Space Designer is pull this knob all the way up. That'll make my reverb as wide as it could possibly be. And we should get that nice little air in the background. That gives us nice reverb. Next thing, I'm just going to up the length a little bit. This is a very minimal change, but it makes it all the better. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the region. And I'm going to grab all of these notes and just pull the velocity down a little bit. Okay. 
and there it'll be nice and a little more cut off it'll be a deeper kind of more emotional sounding piano in my in my opinion mind you this is all my opinion because I really like to make things that my ears agree with so next thing I'm going to do is add a little bit of distortion and bit crusher just to add some of that noise in the background for this I'm just going to down sample up to four and then I'm going to put this up to nine and then we should get something that sounds like this and it sounds a little bit messy right now but that's okay because I'm going to turn down that now by coming down here to mix And it just adds that little bit of atmosphere to it. And that does cut my sound off a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is come back to these notes and turn up the velocity. And with that, another thing the Big Crusher does is it kind of just fills up the, the whole spectrum. So now we don't need as many instruments as we would have to fill out the spectrum of sound. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to come to this gray area and double click. And what that'll do is it'll give us a nice new track to add some instruments to. And what I'm going to do now is add some per percussion. So I'm going to call this percussion. Then I'm going to come over here to where it says instrument this time instead of going to the instrument library because I like to do drums this way. I'm going to come down to where it says ultra beat. And so this is what displays. And then up here in factory default, we can actually surf through the different kits and banks that Logic Pro X has for us. So this is where you may have something that looks different than what I have, but don't mind that because it's just, uh, it's just, I may have a different version of Logic Pro X that you, than you do, but nothing's different. Uh, I'm going to come down to Hit Machine because Hit Machine was on every version of Logic Pro X. So there's a good chance if you're using Logic Pro X that you have this drum kit entitled Hit Machine. So the first thing I'm going to do is lay down a kick. With drum synthesizers and drum samplers, uh, most of the time you'll find your kick in the C keys, or at least the low C keys. And that is the case for Logic's drum synthesizer. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click this percussion layer and I'm going to duplicate it and I'm going to put my snare on this layer because I want to separate my layers of drums but I'm not going to separate it yet I'm actually going to make everything on this first layer and then I'm going to separate it I found this really awesome snare on this hit machine the other day that I never really used as a snare but it's it's really nice So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this snare just so I can add reverb on it without adding reverb to the kick and put it on a new layer. That is the whole point of separating the snares and the kicks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit command C and I'm going to delete them and then come down here and put my marker back to one, click on this track and do command V and then here are my notes. Then I'm going to go 
to Reverb and Space Designer, but I'm going to click on Audio Effects first. And same thing, I'm going to put this dial, the X, over all the way up. It sounds a little heavy on the reverb right now, so what I'm going to do is just turn it down both the length and the wet. And I noticed the dry kind of came down a little bit too just by adding the reverb, so I'm going to pull that back up. And now I think it's a good time to start looping our regions here. And the way I'm doing this is I'm just going to take them all, and if we hold our pointer at the top, the top area of the regions, we can get this looping function. Whereas if you hold it here, all it's going to do is stretch the regions, and that's not going to loop them. We want to loop them, so I'm just going to do that. And the reason for that is so I could take the snare, unloop it, and stretch this region. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to command and put these over here. And then I wanted to add two snares right there. And so one last thing we need to add is some hi-hats. And you can guess it, I'm going to duplicate it and add hi-hats on a different layer. Just in case I need to process these percussions a little differently than the other percussions. noticed something with the kick that I don't want it to be doing. I want this to go here. Now I'm going to add another layer of hi-hats just because I like to make things more complicated than they have to be. And I'm just going to add these simply throughout the entire thing. Now I know I have two snares hitting on this line and this line, so what I'm going to do is just separate them. I'm going to add an extra one here. Okay, and so now I have one last thing to add, and that's a bass line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to this gray area again, double click, go to instrument, and I'm going to use the ES2 synthesizer here. What I'm going to do is same thing, I'm just going to surf through these presets until I find a sound that I like. And so what I'm going to do is go to synth bass and I'm going to go through these bases until I find something that I like. Monster sign typically sounds like what I like. 
So same thing, I'm just going to write my region and come into the piano roll here. I'm going to unloop these pianos and make this more of like a progression. And the way I did that is I just selected these all, Command C, and then put my marker here and Command V to paste. And then I got rid of those and I kept the first note. There you go, guys. That's how to make a simple beat in Logic Pro X. Now you could do so much with this and you can make it longer. You can shorten it. You can take stuff out. You can add stuff to it. Whatever you really want to do to make this into whatever kind of beat you desire. And it's a good basis, I think, because you have percussion, you have a nice bass line, and you have nice piano nice notes, nice full piano notes that you can really do whatever you want with. Um, so there you go, guys. I'm going to play this through one last time, and that'll be the end of the video. And my name's Alex Rome from alexromsound.com, and stay tuned for more awesomeness.